This scenario simulates arriving on scene of a structure fire with flames showing. The attack crews pull a jump line initiating a transitional fire attack. The driver operator will need to supply the jump line and establish a water supply from a fire hydrant that is within 50 feet of the apparatus pump intake. A 15 16 inch smooth bore tip will be directly connected to a discharge and the pressure set to 50 PSI. This will produce approximately 185 gallons per minute. The driver operator will be responsible for establishing a water supply before the onboard water tank runs out of water. The inability to successfully establish a water supply will constitute a failure. After the apparatus is positioned, engage the pump by shifting from road to pump. Select D for drive on the transmission gear selector. Both green lights should be illuminated and speed should register on the speedometer. Exit the cab. Close the driver's door. Proceed to the driver's compartment and don helmet and gloves. Chalk the drive wheels. Open the tank to pump valve. Check that the pump is engaged by confirming throttle ready and pressure registering on the master discharge gauge. Prime the pump if necessary. Ensure the governor is in pressure mode. Open the appropriate discharge. Set the pressure to 50 PSI. Open the bleeder on the ball intake valve. Remove the storts cap. Connect a 25-foot section of 5-inch hose to the ball intake valve in preparation to discharge greater than 500 gallons per minute. Remove another 25-foot section of 5-inch hose from the apparatus to connect from the portable hydrant to the hydrant. Remove the portable hydrant from the apparatus and place it on the ground. Connect the 5-inch hose from the ball intake valve to the portable hydrant. Roll out the second 5-inch hose from the portable hydrant towards the hydrant. Connect the 5-inch hose to the portable hydrant and ensure it is in the closed position. Proceed to the hydrant with the hydrant assist valve and hydrant bag. Flow the hydrant to remove debris and ensure adequate pressure. Shut down the hydrant and connect the hydrant assist valve. Connect the 5 inch hose to the hydrant assist. Ensure the hydrant assist valve indicator is in the correct position. Fully open the hydrant. Proceed back to the portable hydrant removing any hose kinks along the way. Open the portable hydrant valve completely. Proceed to the pump panel and close the bleeder on the ball intake valve. Begin opening the ball intake valve to establish the water supply. During the changeover, the individual discharge gauge must be monitored to ensure the attack line does not receive a spike in pressure. This valve will need to be gated down because the discharge pressure of 50 PSI will be less than the combination of the truck's idle pump pressure and hydrant pressure. After completely opening the ball intake valve, confirm the residual pressure of the master intake gauge. Complete the evolution by filling the onboard water tank. 